Hey everybody, welcome back to the P&Q Show. I am your host, Paul, and I got with me Quincy today. What's going on, Quincy? Oh, not much. Uh, not, not much? Well, I mean, I suppose if we're talking about the other places, there's a lot going on, but there's not much going on where I'm at. Well, that's what I'm confused about, and I think we're both a little bit concerned. Are you concerned? I'm very concerned. Yeah, and that's we've got a lot of... So, for those of you in the listening audience, something that's been kind of popping up in the world out here right now is this PACE virus that has kind of swept over Pennsylvania. We're hearing news that it's coming from all these different places. I think Atlanta has something. Atlanta, right? The other place? Atlanta has something going on? Atlanta and then, then, then Pennsylvania, I guess, is yeah. Harris. So Har- yeah, Harris was a hair burger. There was something going on, I think, North Carolina, but supposedly they got it. But regardless, so, so what the problem here is that we have this illness that's kind of, I don't know, they, it's being called a pandemic by CDC. It swept the nation, but uh, we're not getting a lot of information from CDC. We're not getting some other stuff. And if I'm right in saying there's a bunch of conspiracy theories out there that have been thrown around the Z word, which we can't really sound there. I think the, how do you define a ghoul? How, do you, what, how is that defined? Well, I mean, ghoul. lifeless. Lifeless is good. Ghoul is just kind of like the... But, the video game ghoul, or we is this something different? Like, is it a radiated kind of thing? You think? Well, or is it is it diseased? Is it is it mindless? Is it is it? Uh, I mean, how much can we throw out without using the word that shall not be used? I, I think I think we're just going to have to make a new word. I think that's how this works, right? <laughs> Sh- somebody said shambler. I did not like. I think that was a little bit too comic book for me, right? Right, interesting. Sh- interesting. Shambler. But I, I like the word ghoul. That kind of like covered bases for me, but I wanted to make sure my definition is right if we're going to if we're gonna move forward with this. Well, or we could call them wanderers. Ooh, wanderers. I don't know. I'm too much of a wanderer to... Well, I suppose. Actually, yeah, right. And maybe if you say the lost or something like that, but that's like a motorcycle gang, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get too much off in the weeds. But yeah, that's the thing is, is we want to have this discussion, and the CDC is telling us that um, that's not the problem, that we have nothing to worry about, that it's really just some sort of brain illness or brain fever, I think that somebody said, but I'm just not sure. So what is your, what's your position on this? Do you think these really are ghouls, if you will, or is this something else? So are we dealing with some other problem? Well, I don't know, because it doesn't seem we have enough information coming from either the media or the government. Okay. And, Is there... I, I don't know. I've been seeing some of these pictures online. I mean, can we do anything with that? I mean, we're we're supposed to be the intellectuals here. People come to us for the information. You know what? If they're not giving us enough information, then I guess we just got to be the smart guys and, and do it out. Like, well, you know. well, we could put the tinfoil hat on and say how much of it is fake and how much of it is real. So that's the thing is, is what, what, what of it could be fake? Well, what would be the purpose and what's the game? That's, that's my question right there. There doesn't seem to be, I mean, it, 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 talk about putting on your tinfoil hat here, is if they're doing something or injecting it into society uh, to have some sort of dissension, but that it really doesn't make much sense to me, does it? I mean... Do we throw the word cover-up up? Do we? I don't know. I, I just... I, but I mean, that, what are we covering up? Right, exactly. I mean, they, they're they saying it's naturally occurring, and I tend to kind of think that, I mean, again, if it's not... Well, again... What would they be covering up? We'll add on, and I'm going to be using that a lot. What's up? It, it, if... Most diseases, especially if we, we, we talk about any of the other diseases that have happened in recent memory, always have the impetus of being man-made. In which yeah. case, is that what we're covering up? Or, by usage of the word, you know, is it natural or is it... So you're thinking you're thinking it's la- like it's possible it's some kind of lab-grown thing? Well, I mean... I'm not going to say it out loud, and you know, and 
that you know, have somebody show up at my door in the next couple of days and start right. asking questions. Well, we there's a couple of radio stations that were shut down for using what is that word argumentative language. So there's a I don't know. exactly. I don't want to be argumentative. Right. I don't want to be the guy that like gets the guys knocking on the door. Right. If you okay, so there you go. Let's address the questions. Then, if you had questions. What would be the... Qu I mean, I got my handy-dandy search engine here. We can look into stuff right now. I, I want to know if, if we're really working with the Z word. Are we really working with people who have keeled over and got back up kind of thing? Or are we just dealing with people Has who are sick? Has that reported? No. They're, 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 they've said that this is normally occurring. And that every, everybody I talk to says it's supposed to be... That this is normal. Like, it's okay. People get sick. It's prion disease. It happens all the time to deer. Why can't it happen to humans? Well, I mean, well, that's rabies, for crying out loud. Right. That's is, what I'm saying. Is that what we're dealing with? Right. Well, that's that's it's supposedly... Normal. Maybe that's... Well, they didn't say rabies, but, I mean, I, I don't... I, I, I can put two and two together. I mean, if that's where we're going. Well, do we... I mean, how much how much medical information do we have on this? Is there is there like brain swelling? Is there like has there yeah? I heard that's one thing that I did here was brain some sort of brain swelling, or maybe it was was it brain swelling, or maybe it was swelling in the like the vertebrae. I guess you got some kind of juice in your your vertebrae there that uh, causes issues or whatever. Like, is it meningitis or? Well, yeah. I mean, but look, if I had a medical degree, I wouldn't be in radio. Right, good point. <laughs> With you there, I got whatever that illness is, I have it too. So, um, but yeah, that's the thing is, it it seems to be either some sort of swelling in the brain or swelling in the the fluid or whatever that comes well, from I mean, that. I well, I mean, I mean, I'm over fifty. I have swelling in my feet. Do I have to be worried? I think you should worry. If that's <laughs> if you have swelling of the feet. <laughs> and the fever and vomiting and chills or something like that. That's the thing that gets me about all these illnesses they sell us on, is they all seem to be the flu. Like, it, it, right? Is it, do you have a cold and cough? Or, you know, do you feel well, I mean, chills? You walk down the street and somebody sneezes, and the next thing you know, you're turning into Donald Sutherland from freaking invasion. Right, exactly, yeah. So <laughs> Okay, so if I if we are these pod people, I think that I don't know if we want to open that that can of worms, do we? Well, I mean, oh gosh, are we are we going to start doing the, the alien analogy? I, if, if there's an you know what, if there's an alien analogy, I think we could do it. Well, it it certainly does seem foreign, uh, but so you're thinking from space now? We're going to do that? Well, I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm shooting it out there. I want to hear what you gotta have to. I we're all in the same boat here. Let's I, figure it out together. I'm throwing spitballs at <laughs> like you, got, you got nothing from nobody. Right. Except and that's what I think is. Don't you don't okay. So don't you find that weird is that we have the entire well not the entire state but most of the state of Pennsylvania in a state of disaster. Atlanta recording a state of disaster. Other places calling for problems and. Are they just I, problems, or are they just? That's like, what they said. Yeah, it was yeah. all pace. But is it all people like just panicking? Okay, so there's another problem. Is it people that are panicked? Are they actually like seeing ghosts and really all this other stuff is imaginary and 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 we're just we're just what is it? High, high, hysteria. It's well, hysteria. Uh, at that point, let's call it the tinfoil hat syndrome. For crying. Well, I definitely have that. So, right at this point, <laughs> yeah, everybody, <laughs> so everybody's pointing at everybody and saying that they're diseased or whatever. Right. And we've seen that happen before. That's I did that for my ex-wife. It didn't work. Well, they didn't put her away. So, it, listen, you know, she keeps calling. I don't hope, know what to do. <laughs> hope, hope, that's what hopes and prayers do. Exactly. <laughs> yes. At that point, that's where you get religious, right? Right. Uh, so yeah. So that. But the thing is, is no matter how much we have these conversations, I think this is not just happening on our channel. I think it's happening on every channel out there. Is that we have these communications and we're right back to square one again. We're just really like, what do we need to do to look at the scenes? Do we? I. Okay. So the stuff that we saw on some of the social medias. Uh, sites out here that people posted up 
some of it was taken down by the censors. There was something about some sort oh. of government <laughs> regulations. Could, is did they take it down because it was fake, or they take it down because it was just needed to be censored? Well, and why does it need to be censored? Well, I, for one, it's—I mean—the idea of blood and junk all over the place. I think that usually triggers some sort of algorithm, no, we right? Don't, we don't want the kids to see it. We don't want the kids to see it. Yeah. So. Well, you know, and and suddenly we're dealing with reality. But right. No, but, no, we we cannot have the kids dealing with reality. Right. So, right. so now we have you know less information, less. Right to go on less to be seen and if we do see it we have to sequester ourselves so so my question is is what's the what's the end game like why why are we doing this like what why are we censoring everything so 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 here's my thing right and i'll put it like this because this is the thing is usually i'm usually i'm the guy here that's like you know putting on my my psycho hat and you're you're telling me don't worry about that and well, I usually you, you change me a little bit for that so I don't worry as much right but if there really isn't an end game and there really is a chaos factor here that we're dealing with is it the idea of maybe it just is what they say it is maybe if that case like there, there isn't any dissension there's no I mean obviously you're not being attacked by another country so with the idea of that happening that's hard like I don't think we are I mean, I, I haven't seen any warnings on television that um, uh, troops are amassing at our Canadian border. And if they did, they'd be speaking French, so I wouldn't even know what they were saying. So, But even that, <laughs> that being said, like, where, yes. well, why, why is it not showing up in other countries? Why is it only here? Well, they, so here's my thing, and this is where I got a little bit punchy about it, is they're saying that China is covering it up. They're saying that this is what, in well, that, here we come again with China. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I knew it was going to happen the second I brought it up. I'm like, the second I said it, it was like, oh, you do any kind of research, and suddenly it's China has it, and we don't have. We have it. They have it, but they're saying they don't have it. So does England have it? No, definitely. Spain not. I have not heard. A, I have not heard a single thing from England. 230 sovereign countries, and we're it. Yeah, apparently, us in China and like. Some tin foil array well, China, is. Well, China says they don't have. They say they don't have. It. Well, China will say they don't have anything. <laughs> right, that's the <laughs> that, point. That's China. They they have everything, but they don't have anything. There right. you go. Right, right. So that's the thing is, is if there's an ulterior motive, and there's other people out there that supposedly have it. So let's just assume, like you were saying, that it just seems impossible that if you have something and it's called a pandemic by by every organization out there that it's got to be someplace else other than just here, right? Right, and then that begs the question if it's natural or if it's man-made. Well, they said it was um, what was it, that drug? What was the name of the drug? That began with a Z. That, that yeah. Uh, Xylazine, I think it was. What it's was basically like... Like what? What was that being used for? What was it? Oh, it's... um. It's a horse tranquilizer, and they put it in with, I think it's fentanyl? So it was basically mixed with, like, I guess it was, I don't know, I don't use drugs. So, um, <laughs> I've never used heroin or any of that kind of stuff before. Well, I mean, but I'm under the impression <laughs> that, what's that? I said it's been a long time. Yeah, it was a couple weekends. So. That, that's, right. that's, like, well, I mean, I don't want to use the word beating a dead horse, but... Uh, or the phrase. Wow, I don't even know how to address that insanity right, right there. Right, let's, <laughs> we have to look at some kind of humor during this situation. Yes, I, I agree. Don't, okay, I, I'm I, sorry. <laughs> all I see is is fear mongering and uh, that's my problem. And and lack of information, I think, is causing much more right. of this type of behavior and. That. You said fear mongering. Mm. Okay, I did, I did say that out loud, didn't I? Yeah. So yeah, you do. I mean, inside that's inside voice. No, that's okay. It's <laughs> not your inside voice. Um, my inside voice went to my outside voice. Um, the thing is, so and and I'm not going to ever claim it. Us being in the media ourselves, so I don't want to 
you know own too much of this but we have in the media in the past been known to be slightly I, I don't know exaggerative is that a word uh, well sensational there you go that's a much better word I like that one I think so I think yes if like you know if if you want to sell if you want to sell the Kardashians you got to put Kanye West in right right and, and I agree so really. but so here's the thing you can't have your 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 soup and your OJ too right well <laughs> okay OJ and, is a good breakfast I guess I don't know right. I and, I think people are reading into what I'm saying here it's not what I'm trying to say but anyway and you can't <laughs> let the car from Hertz anymore but uh, no, you can't uh, uh, but I I think I lost my train of thought yeah definitely train but, wreck there but uh, I, honestly I think getting back to the whole like whether we call it the, the fear mongering or misinformation has it been sensationalized yeah has it been sensationalized but again that begs the question to what end what right what what does it garner to sensationalize this misinformation and that's where I kind of ask is it a lot of times so this is I know this seems really weird but I've seen this in the past is when a musician makes a certain album even though it's not good if they're a popular person they tend to push that album and push it out even though they know the album stinks and, and it, nobody wants to listen to it well, they're selling. the idea that people wants to promote it and people are buying and our ratings go up when we talk about it that that's what they do well it's selling the brand it's, right. not, it's not selling the album it's just so at that point you're just selling the brand the name right and, and so it, is the new name Pace that's what I'm asking well it's certainly not going to have a good connotation based on what we're seeing and what we're, we've been reading about it, would it? that's this is the impasse that we all deal with right now <laughs> We're sitting here, and you know, I feel like I need to call. I mean, that's the thing is, is on our next show, I think we need to call a professional beyond our. I mean, like if we do the engineering and we do the other stuff, so we're the smart guys here, but we're obviously not brain surgeons. So it's I almost like, I, yeah, exactly. I feel like we should have somebody on the show in the future that can open up a noggin and tell us, you know, what makes it tick because we're obviously a little bit behind them. What I, uh, what media outlets have been the most prolific on this? Because you know, don't say page six. Because if you say page six, <laughs> now all, all the major news outlets are covering it, and obviously it's all over social. I think that's what happened. Was the first thing happens on social media? Of course. I don't right. So I don't know if it the happened on social. Gonna, at the end of the world is going to happen, and somebody's going to hold up their phone and record it. Right, exactly. So, and that, and that's just the, the thing now. So, so somebody's posted stuff. A lot of the things they did say was they couldn't confirm the videos that were being seen because people were sharing them on top of sharing them, also filming them and then redoing them. And then obviously there's some some charlatans out there that they're taking the videos and recreating them and posting them back up and laying claim to them. And that's the thing is that's what happens today. Is, if you can copyright it, they can own it. What's that? We're seeing fake videos now? Oh, yeah. We've been seeing fake videos for a while. And that's the thing that gets me is that... So they this stuff gets out. It does this. It doubles over. People start... We, it, it Could it have happened a couple of times? And you just kind of snowballed. And then the news network organizations pick it up. And CDC confirms it. So that's the You're thing. You're basically telling me I can't trust anything. No. I, well, I think that was true before we started the show. Well, <laughs> well now you're making it worse. No, and, and the worst part is, remember, I'm the guy that's trying to take the tinfoil hat off, and I feel like I'm doing this, I'm trying... Well, it off and you're putting it on me for right, right now. Right, getting worse, it's not getting better. <laughs> so, so you're telling me that there's like a whole bunch of fake videos. Oh, yeah. So we don't know what's the real, we don't know what's fake. Right, or do, we? or do we? I, it, it, okay, so if there's a million videos out there, do I am not going to be the person that sifts through them and says what's well, real or not. not? Like, right? I don't have time to even surf through 
your text messages when you send over and say the show's going to start. Like I, it, I'm amazed I make it to the show on time. So well, the fact that you actually think that I text that often is kind of <laughs> it, you know, that's like this technology. Is, we the two of us use. Apparently. That's that's it. The honeymoon's over. Right. <laughs> I I digress back to the point of we don't know what's real. We don't know what's we have we have more questions than we have answers. Okay, so how about this? Then? Is it possible that the Z words exist? Is it is it feasible that that could be a thing? Do aliens exist? I don't know. Oh, when I I saw somebody that was so you there know, you go. There's didn't have a, there's they didn't, I don't. I'm not sure they had a green card when they showed up. But no. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You mean from outer space? No, I don't know. That's the thing. Right, so we don't know right. if those things that can't be named exist. Well, is that what well, we're supposedly looking at it, though? I mean, we have to kind of... Or are we looking at people with rabies? That's my point. I tend to want to... That's my problem. So, let's just say my, my inner circle tells me these things exist. Is there the, the, the Yes, the inner circle, uh, the Illuminati, right. uh, confirmed. Um, yeah, so they, there's this. These they, they're all telling me, no, you got to believe it. You got to believe it. And I do an ounce of research, and uh, you know, mad cow disease is a thing. Uh, mad deer disease, or whatever it is, is prime, or, or Schwelter's whatever syndrome, or whatever that these animals get. And I've seen the videos of them, and if you cross reference it, it looks a lot similar. And so we have those two things and then we have something mixed with the idea of if you look up anybody that's ever been on xylazine or been on any sort of heavy heavy drug of that nature they're very similar in look and appearance so i just said how, well, how I mean, far i mean somebody overdoses on pcp for crying out loud they're they're, right. they're just as bad if not but that's my thing is is how far is a stretch of it so how far is the stretch to saying that they they just lost it they you know something clicked in their head and they just decided to attack everybody around them. so but it it begs to question why are they doing it what's because they're sick because they're sick well so what then what do you do that we're going to have to find a some sort of cure or something like that, which I think that that's what I mean. That's what I was hearing that all these doctors are getting together and trying to do was find a cure or some sort of um, treatment for it, and that's that's the that's but, pretty much where we're at. But if we're saying it's a drug, then why not just stop giving people the drug? Well, it's it's already out there now. So whatever that thing was that they got originally. Now it's got to be out there. And that's the crazy thing about this. We don't even know how it's spread. You know that, right? I mean, we've heard Surgeon well, General that's, say... That was my next question, because now, right? you're, now you're actually, like, you're alluding to the fact that it could be like a disease that's spreadable. Okay. So yeah. then, are we saying that that's it, then? Do we say that, yes, it can be a disease, yes, it can be spreadable... You know, maybe maybe it's not just a, a, a drug thing anymore. Maybe it's something else. So we're using the word quarantine. Oh, they're definitely using words like quarantine. Yeah, and and, and that's why they're they're shutting down. Like Pittsburgh is completely shut down. So yeah, and and uh, so. Well, this, I think Atlanta's shut down too. Actually, come to think of it. Well, I mean, this is scary stuff, man. Because right. you start shutting down cities and you start shutting down airports. Right. And exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, that's the, what's next. You know what I mean? Like that's transport. That's whatever. Our highways, like, you know, roadways shut down. I mean, do they have roadblocks everywhere? They said they said going into Atlanta it was, but I don't know how far out it is beyond that. I know you can't get into Pittsburgh. Philadelphia, I've heard you could travel right through it. So. Well, what does that mean? Right. That is that is exactly my question. You could travel through it, but you can't. Well, like, you, you can't, yeah. What, do you just wave at like, a bunch of people? I guess you wave at stuff, yeah. If you see it. And like, I, that's the thing that I, I wonder, because we've seen people 
posting videos of, of basically these shambling masses walking around and I'm like what are we what are we looking at? I mean we could be looking at anything. Right? I mean tell me just here, I got this for you. So because we're coming up in the, the half hour here, we're gonna have to go to cut to a break. Before I go to a break though, I want some sort of resolution here. <laughs> tell me it's feasible, right? <laughs> you're like you're not getting it. Um tell me it's feasible. That it's just like what we're seeing is people filming stuff that doesn't make sense that just is them trying to get attention that it really isn't real that's what i want to hear and if you can't say it i that that's fair so you want me to say if it's real or not i I want your opinion because see me my problem is is everybody around me is telling me put the the hat on and confirm and just be like you gotta believe it i'm sorry Quincy, the Earth is flat. You're, that's it, and I I can't do it. I just I I'm I can't even fathom the idea of somebody with no heartbeat walking here's, around. It's just like, crazy. Here's my honest take on. Okay, like, go ahead. Honest take. We'll we'll finish up with that. Then. Yeah, my honest take is, if it walks like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it works for the post office. And if it walks like, no. <laughs> what? If it walks like a unmentionable, okay, got it. It eats like an unmentionable. It's got to be an unmentionable. Okay, so it's unmentionable. All right, and as we head into the break right now, we're going to be coming back in a second, and we're going to get you more information on the current financial woes that are happening in the mortgage market right now. Do to the pandemic that's going on right now, right under our nose, that we're going to deny. Quincy, you going to take him out? Uh, I mean, I, at this point, I I would start investing in certain uh, weapons country uh, companies. Weapons <laughs> companies, got it. This is P's and Q's. Mind them, folks. We'll be right back. 